Hold up, son. I'm chilling, bro. All right. Anyways, we're gonna start this, bro. It, Danny, we're gonna figure it out midstream. All right. First thing I want to talk about. Obviously, I want to talk about phases win. Your guys' immediate thoughts on phase one and two best of fives. My so, blood. My incredible. Blood. Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely. My blood. I was legit, like, dude. I was. That was crazy. Like. From down to that first like uh, comeback in the hard point, bro, shit was insane. I have I no mean, idea how they did that. It started yeah, I, with, re with oh, pre-set no, we replays. We were up 2 on them. I thought we had it. Oh, yeah, obviously, you were. Obviously choked that away. And then I didn't think they were being able to two best of fives. I don't think it was probably think so, Yo, yo Nato, your mic, you're like breathing out here everything you're doing. Oh, shit, sorry. Nah, I even said it when we were in the pro lounge, but after they won the first one, the way they won it, I was like, ah, it's yeah. over. No way yeah. they win again. There's no way they win a second one. That, like, like, Optic's that. a better team. They're just throwing it away. There's no way they win they again. They got 1v3 like twice. Bro, you know how I feel about FaZe, bro? Every time they win a series, like when they play the top teams, it's like the most stressful Dude, series they, of all time. They, wait, I had season they one, they five, five game fives. Dude, I yeah. know. Like, it's the most stressful like th series ever, and they won so many of them this weekend. Like, it was actually insane. Yeah, that's they, been like the theme of the game though, just clutching up game fives, yeah. round eleven, like TK beginning of the year. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you guys won though at Birmingham, was it really like a lot of game fives? Like, what you guys? Yeah, won game we five? beat we beat Optic and Rise game five at Birmingham. Oh, yeah, SND's becoming. What about what about, what about Rise at Atlanta? Yeah, they only went game five with my team, I think. Danny, you switch, switch your mic. Switch your mic. Oh, sorry. Um, no, yeah, the game SNE's become like the most important mode at the moment because all the top teams they're going like game five. It's because of vetoes, I think. Like phases. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you're good. I think it's something about the game. I don't know. I don't even know what. I just. It's something about the game, but I also think it is vetoes too. It's. It's. I think it's vetoes and the comp is just better. Like, bro, I mean, that, 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 that could be it, too, because, like, bro, I mean, like, I remember... last year, like, regardless of the game being, like, bad, like, we still had a shit ton of winners, and it's looking like it's going to be the same thing this year. Yeah, no, but bro, like... you used to go to events, and there was three teams who could win. Now there's, like, True. eight. True. But, like, last year, for example, when teams won, they essentially dominated maybe, like, one or, one or two series that were close. Like, when Optic won champs, like, it was a pretty dominant performance, other than when they lost to you guys. Like, when LG won uh... Anaheim, it was pretty... I'm sorry. <laughs> When LG won Anaheim, it was like a dominant performance. Like Rise won the first event. It was a little close on the matches. Dominant. It was a little close on the matches, but like that's the first event, anyways. But like this game, uh, it's been game five so much. Like in winners that's what I'm finals. Saying. I think it's something about the game, but I don't know what it is that makes it that way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a combination of things. Points, bro. It's a combination of things, probably. But yeah, do you guys think FaZe can do it again? <laughs> if I was a betting man. No. I would not bet FaZe win another tournament. Here's the thing, though. Like, but what if saying phase... that is like, like, I mean, they just proved us all wrong. So yeah, they... it's like ignorant to say that. They, they can like, win uh, again, but uh, they won't win the way they, they won right there. But like, there's, I think that I think no they have way. to become a better team. Yeah, well, that replays definitely the gained repeat. like a ton of confidence. Now they have full trust in each other. Definitely, they definitely have a hell of chill out confidence right now. Yeah, that's the thing about Chris is like usually he's not that confident. You know, like if he had like a really bad series. Like the next few series, yeah. like he might play bad because of it. But like now, he knows like if he gets better, they'll be even more discussed. If he just plays how he did at this tournament, and he had like a point nine nine overall, if he plays how he did this weekend or even better, like they have such a good chance to win. So I don't know. I think they could do it again. They are playing really good, dude. And their SMG oh, was like nasty. Another thing too is I was talking to them after they won. And they kind of went into it with that. What's that mentality you call, Danny? The, the I don't give a F mentality, bro. Yeah, that's the best bro. way to play, bro. That They said they were laughing after they got World Star in the CTF. Yeah. Like, bro, you can, if no, I'm in finals and we get World Star in CTF, I'm not, I'm laughing. not laughing. No, it I'm was weird. Kind of it was People weird. People are built differently, dude. I don't get it. That nah, was weird. They would win a map, show no emotion. Lose a map, laugh. I was like, yeah. Dude, like, like Chris how... 1v3, no emotion. Lost that CTF, you see Chris smiling. <laughs> I'm like, hello? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Chris is, he's a different dude, they, breed, dude. They lost the first round, thought they were getting top eight, and just kind of decided, yeah. who cares? Wait, why the, the fuck did then, my webcam we turn off? We have to touch on it. The what Gucci the jacket, bro. The, the Gucci, Gucci jacket. jacket. Dylan's freaking Gucci jacket. Wait, Dylan, yeah, paid bro, hero. Dylan was oh, legit did. frying, Nah, bro. he's paying him at, at in Seattle in cash and vlogging it. Wow. wow. There we go. Oh, I hate Dylan. I love him, but I hate him. <laughs> 
God. Oh, like literally he trolled. He was like, yeah, we're going to get 3 out by TK. Yo, uh, Trey, let me borrow your jacket. And then just made a run. Bro, I figured it out. Dylan and uh, and Tommy are just sledgehammer players. Oh, no, they're, they're the optic they're stoppers, days? bro. That's what it is. Sledgehammer players and the optic stoppers in sledgehammer. The last time they won That's was two best of sevens against optic. Oh, yeah, dude. In Columbus. In Columbus, In bro. Columbus, bro. In that arena. Wait, FaZe is nasty in Columbus, Wait, yo, dude. champs better they not be in Columbus. in Columbus. Dude, they've always <laughs> been good over there. Wait, uh, yeah, if champs in Columbus, dude, we might as well not even show up, dude. Uh, by the <laughs> way, Mox just tweeted restricted FA. We can touch on that later. Oh, oh did he? Who do you yeah, guys think added. his replacement Interesting. is? Interesting. Real quick. I, I, I think I have an idea. Okay, Wait. we'll talk We'll talk about we'll it later. We'll talk about that later. dropped? We'll talk, hold on, we'll talk, we'll talk. We'll talk Talk about that later, guys. All right, so I got some phase covering that. Now, Optic, they played pretty good, to be honest. I thought they were the best team there, low key. I just feel oh, like they, they were. They were definitely like they were. Would you say they were better than FaZe at that tournament? Like, obviously, yes. FaZe won, but they were definitely the better team, right? That's yeah. yeah. Like, dude, they were outplaying them, but I just mean, dude, choking, seven, dude. The first map, but it all kind of the first series. The first map, they threw a 75 point lead. Or FaZe scored 75 unanswered points to win. That's like unheard of. And then. <laughs> Bro, you a guys five, were there. One map two, like one v three to start, one v three to end it. Yeah, that's. Bro, you guys were there. How <laughs> lit was that? I wish I was in the freaking pro lounge watching that. It was probably crazy. Oh, dude, dude we, no, we were just all we were... mind blown. Dude, yeah, yeah no. like, everyone's jaw just this. hit the ground. Like, like <laughs> Chris got the one v three, got streak. I think that made it five three. No, so the, like, wait. The one v the one v three made a five two. Bro, Dylan's one v three was nasty, yeah. bro. I'm not gonna, uh, like, I'm yeah. not gonna downplay it, but Chris's one v three was like some impossible. Oh, it started. The hard part started because Chris got streaks. We were like, Chris yeah, got the yeah, yeah. like that yo, double pistol could, beer steps. Yeah, we were like, yo, they could bring it back to that streak, but it's like, nah, they're still down fucking fifty or whatever. Like, there's no way. Dude, yeah, that's that crazy. Is, Get streaks made a five two with one v three. It's like ah again. There's no way they actually come back. Yo, cat. Like, despite the streaks, but if you got some streams open, close them. It's like lagging just a little bit. Yeah, um, mine did the same thing. Yo, but I, don't stream my app. I got a question for y'all. Which one v three was better, Dylan's or replays? I think, I think Chris's. Cause yeah, Bomb I think was Chris's. Down. Yeah, and it started. It like initiated the comeback. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know, dude. For me, like. It's tough to call because Dylan's won what, the game, it, but Chris's clutch was like, it was like impossible, pick, dude. Like, it like was legit the impossible, heady. bro. Yeah, the first yeah. kill was crazy. And then the he second got the good timing on Matt. He saw Matt go in that corner. That's why he jumped Can't out of your like, steps and jumped pre-fired and then ripped Damon off the head. Did you guys dude. know how hard that gunfight is? The way is? I think about it, though, is like, Chris's was 5-1. They're down 5-1. Bro, when you're down 5-1, you're in a 1v3, you're like, ah, fuck it. Whatever happens, happens, you know? Like, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we lost the map. 5-5, five, five. this man ran through the artillery in Grand Finals 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I mean, that, that was, was a crazy play, play, but, but any, anybody's, everybody has to make that bro. play there. Not downplaying it, but, like, anybody in Dylan's situation, like, at least for me, have to make I'm that making play. that play. I'm flanking through the artillery, and I'm hoping to go. The 1v1 was what was super impressive to me. Like, I thought the other part was kind of luck. The 1v1 was impressive because he actually checked his back. The Most timing in that 1v1 that. was crazy. I don't know if they yeah. saw each other at all during that, but that was, like, incredible It looked timing. like when Dylan jumped on the crates, Ian saw him. Wait, when yeah. He jumped low yeah. Dock I and, thought and I thought Ian was... saw him a few times because yeah. he was like chasing him. Looked like he was. Grim played that one be one good to be honest, dude. I, uh, Dylan was just running around with that. I don't give a f. That was great. That, like I remember someone saying it too. It's like for both teams, that's the best person to have in the one v one. Yeah. Dylan uh, and then Grim. Damon, you want to pick Damon? Nah, I'd pick Grim over Damon. I'd pick Krim. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably personally pick Damon, but I think Damon's just a Dylan, weirdo. Dylan loses wands, bro. Dylan's really good 1v1 player. But uh no, somebody just brought up a good point though in the chat where Chris's 1v3 gave him streaks. Yeah. So, so it might have been more I think that was I mean, a little bit more. It's tough to call. You, for can, sure. you can argue either way. They're yeah. both amazing. I mean one led the comeback, one finished the comeback, so yeah. I argue both. Like Ben said in Chase, I would love to see the win percentage from window to ladder. It's gotta be like window to ladder, you rarely win that. I mean, the dude obviously 10%. Got a set, yeah, uh, 10%. I mean, d did Seth have an AR or a sub? I mean, either way though, like Seth can just run away. Like it's such no, a yeah, yeah. ladder. Though. I'm just saying, like I'm just saying, like gunfight to gunfight. As a sub, I've lost that if the AR is in ladder. Well, on land you get perfect hit detection. Online you never win that gunfight. That's so. just say without that one v three, they ain't winning. Duh. <laughs> 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 
I lost the map. That's just how it works. All right. Both of them. Moving on after covering that. Cap, is it kind of does it kind of suck that after winning Birmingham, like right after you go into playoffs, you lose, and like you didn't really get to celebrate your win that much? It kind of uh, feels like everybody forgot about it. Like personally, for me, that would like I might not admit it, but it would kind of like suck for me. I honestly don't really think so, cause like we yeah. knew like it was all one trip, and we knew going in like Birmingham was like the smaller event, obviously, and the season one's like the big one. Like that's where we got to show up. If it's one of the yeah. two, unfortunately, it was ass backwards, but. <laughs> like, but we should, we still, then we show up to Birmingham and like they have the Yamas and like the credibility. Obviously, Yama. It, obviously the event went felt good, yeah. but like, it just, asterisk, I don't know. Asterisk, it wasn't asterisk, that, asterisk. I'm not gonna say an asterisk. That's no, I mean that's an impressive win, bro. But... That's composure. Like, I gotta give you guys credit. That's an impressive win to win that event. I mean, I mean, realistically, anyone who wins is gonna be like, I mean, it's a good win for anyone. Yeah, and then everyone who loses is gonna be like asterisk. Like that's just the way an event like that's gonna oh, yeah. go. Oh yeah, hundred percent. No matter what. But the like, way is, the dub is a dub, bro. If I won, still I'm get the twenty that right. Shit. I don't care what happened. Like Rise for still got paid, still got a trophy. Still, yeah, it's still a good win, no matter what. I mean, what. no, that was, a, that was a good win. That's yeah, why I was still pissed. Series. Yeah. And uh, I mean, obviously for NA, like couldn't let couldn't let the EU boys win one, huh, Cap? <laughs> Yeah, you boys have been in three grand finals. Couldn't they, let them win, bro. Yeah, you, you couldn't throw them a bone, dude. They scared us. The first series, the first map, Valkyrie, I thought it was over. <laughs> dude, John was super fine, bro. I don't know. I you guys need to get John and Yama, Yama, dude. Yeah, he's like 3-0, 3-0. Bro, yeah, we I don't got... know how John was shooting straight, but bro. he's a man. Wait, Sam was shooting extra straight, too. I know. I don't know how. Because I couldn't hit the broads of a oh. barn on those things. Bro, John was getting like so many two and three pieces every time they fucking spiked it on. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was playing really well. You know what he was doing in search too? Cap obviously knows, but like when I was watching, he was taking so many crazy risks for first bloods. Like on that Valkyrie SNE you guys played, he would just rush through mid and just charge. Like sometimes they would they would show him and it would like not work out, but more more often than not, like he was getting the piece. Like he was getting a and two dude, piece. Dude, did you watch season one? This was with it every round. No, yeah, no. You literally run through mid map every mid round. Mid, mid map. map. <laughs> every round, every map. It's Tyler like, was onto something. Bro, we just started we... counting it. Well, if I was yeah. gonna have everyone, bro, bro. You guys know how uh, Phase's like record on London SD is something crazy, where it's like. Yeah. So in the beginning of the game, when my team was like trying to learn how to play search as a team, there was this one strat they did that I, I took from them that we did that worked pretty well. It was on London on offense. You would three go A. You throw like a smoke at A, and then you like play A side and distract, and then Priesta would camp the bomb. Yeah, yeah he would take yep. the bomb and he'd go drop it B late in the round, or like play like a, a late flank or something. And I took that and it worked well. And I remember that was like, bro, that was like week three of the game, and I was watching them play, and they were they doing did that. it a lot, dude. They did it so, and it worked. Every yeah. like the guy B they, they, would just yeah, push they just up one v one. Yeah, and he has a one v one, and Priest was talented, so like he's winning that one v one. And like, Wait. bro, that strat right there. I'm sorry, face for exposing you guys, strat, but that strat right there, dude, he was. Like that was frying optic. Like, I think every they time. went a hundred percent. I think they went a hundred percent doing that strat. Did yeah. you see the the fights Tom is winning in map too? He oh, bodied him off the the crim. fire heady. Yeah, yeah like, he was standing it was in the middle smoked, of the though. open. Bro, I forgot, I forgot who I was watching ah. it with. I forgot who I was watching it with, but it literally looked like every single round they expected Tommy rushing. He was just oh, more mid -map. confident. He was just yeah. more confident than another player. Bro, like, Tommy's uh, go-to play in London. I took it from him, like, and added to my sub my sub gameplay. When he rushes through gate, like he instantly just starts pre-firing the fire head glitch. He gets to kill every time. It's the most ultimate camera, like gunfire yeah. ever. He did it to them over and over. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why Optic thought that was a good map. No, to the play, thing about but... it too is like, didn't you guys play him on that map cap on Docs and Forest as well? Or no, you put him on Valk, right? What map did you play him yeah, on the finals? Uh, game two, game five was London. Yeah, you. Yeah. What was he Wait, too? I think every game team played him Valk. on London. It was I knew they were nasty at that map, dude. But wait, the, the crazy thing about it, though, is going into finals, after you've seen them play London four times, you know exactly what they did. Yeah. No, Optic Like, I could lay out every zoned. round for you almost. And... They would have, if they knew about the strat we just talked about, like, they would have won the map, like, easily. They did that, like, three I, times a map. I don't like, know about how fair, you don't know about that. They were up 5-1, 3-1. Like, they had... Yeah, they had it. Yeah, they did have them red. Wait, didn't they play it again in the second series, though? Yeah. Game yeah. two and it wasn't close. It wasn't that close. Yeah, right? Six five. No, they won. They oh, was it again? Oh, they won six five again. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Jesus. Christ. That was the that was the one round Zuma didn't go mid. Remember we were talking about the post. Oh Austin? yeah, yeah. Round eleven, I was like, oh Bro, no, Zuma, Zuma didn't go mid, mid every round. He was getting watched every round because he's the one sprinting the map. Like, you gotta watch yeah. that guy. 
And then round 11, they're like, Doom was just B-side. Like, yeah. He actually got first blood, but got Insta Trade or something. Yeah. Optic had some questionable challenges, dude. They had some questionable challenges that map. That that finals was just all like adrenaline and like intuition. Bro, the whole time I was wondering why they never stunned them like at all. <laughs> no, on Forest, yeah. Forest, dude, he was, Forest he actually had, ridiculous. He always had Hunker on every fucking round. Oh yeah, you just rush straight through. Oh, you not get stunned. All right. Anyways, after talking about that, uh, this episode's more gonna be about like roster mania. So we love um, roster mania. We enjoy <laughs> roster mania. Uh, you guys love roster mania. Uh, yeah. I'm enjoying Roster Mania. No, nah, but it's usually it's pretty entertaining, especially for community. <laughs> and like after like stuff gets a little stale, like having new rosters is nice. So obviously I have some storylines. Yeah. So I have some bullet points here. Obviously, uh, you guys are in here, Austin, Dan. I'll start with Austin. What made you want to leave Envy? What? I mean, like I mean for, for, him, <laughs> for him. No, 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 not, no, no. For him, like I, I mean, what made him want to leave all three of them? And like just join oh. a, another team this is set core three. uh i'll break it down a little bit so i think i said this in an interview with the certo before that basically he was like what went wrong with the team or something like that and to be honest there's not like one thing there's just so many things like it was unreal like communication was off in matches our practice was terrible yeah. we didn't get along that much like it was just it was, everything was bad and so looking into it like i was like i mean what's my best chance at winning like we can't stick being a team of three, I don't think that's going to work either because our team's not a one-person problem. Yeah. So my only uh, my only option was to keep one or go to another team. And I think the easiest way to win with champs coming up in a couple months, season two in a couple months, is to join a team of three that's already had success. And I knew going into the event, there's you know four or five really good teams who have a chance of winning. All of them can't win season two. Or season one, I mean. So someone's going to bound or you ready for a change. So I knew like going into it, I'd have good luck finding a roster and then it, where it worked out. I mean, honestly, I think it was a good play by you guys, you and Rise. I think you fit that team like most out of all the rosters like you could have possibly joined, especially because Dan yeah. will like alleviate like the pressure for you. Like Dan, what made you guys want to get rid of Zini? Like obviously MVP dude was like playing pretty good. Like did he not play well at this event or the event before last or what happened? I mean, I don't really think it was like performance wise. I mean, he did like underperform uh, compared to he did Atlanta, but I think like it was all of us. I mean, Pierce didn't really perform as well. TJ didn't really have that good two events. He like instantly lost full. Like his first time going to Europe, Yama, he like instantly obviously lost full at uh, Birmingham. It was just more so not letting the opportunity just skip by and picking yeah. up a T3, possibly T2 Wait, AR in the last three years. Yeah. And I just think, I mean, we had a meeting after we lost just to discuss it. I mean, obviously, everyone knows like a five-day period that you can make a change. So I wanted to give Zinni the best opportunity. And I told him, I was like, I want to play with Slasher. I think he's a better – I think Austin brings way more to search, way more experience at the high level. I mean, Zinni's obviously took like a three-year hiatus or whatever. Yeah. And he only really started competing at the top like recently, like the past like two, three months. And Slasher's been doing it for three years. I just think going into stage two, going into champs, why not pick up someone that's gotten first and second? Yeah, and, I mean, that makes sense. And Slasher's coming off of, obviously, a dis disappointing end of IW and a disappointing start of World War II where he's hungry to win. He wants to win. I mean, we we all saw his tweets every single time he was eliminated from an event. I just feel he's hungry to win, and it was just, it was just dumb to say no. And, I mean, long term, it makes sense, too, going into Black Ops 4. Yeah, I mean, you guys made a, a smart move. I mean, obviously, I think that team could be really good on paper. But uh, I guess my one question would be, what happens to you and Tej when Austin and Pierce inevitably go at it, bro? Thing is, Pierce. <laughs> I mean, Pierce. Pierce doesn't really go at it with people. Like, uh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 No, no, no. I've seen I'm Pierce on the stage. No, yeah, yeah. I'm just I've heard him screaming. <laughs> what up? Saying, I talked. I talked to Kev about this yesterday. It was like. Obviously, when you team with someone new, you team with, like, new players, like, you see how smart they are, and, like, Pierce really did surprise me with how intelligent of a cop player he is, like, no, yeah, and in, in scrims, he was not that bad. I mean, after we won, he was kind of singling out Zinni and what he was doing, and obviously, like you guys said, after we lost game four to the Red Reserve, you heard, you heard some vocal, Legit vocal screaming. yelling, screaming, but... 
I was mind blown. I mean, that's what that's what everyone's saying. It's gonna be an ego clash, but I don't really think he, Pierce has like an ego. It's more so as soon as you lose, it's not like an ego taking over. It's just like rage. Well, I mean, for Pierce, wouldn't you guys say like, I mean, just being honest, like most of the time he has like troubles with a player on the team. It's with somebody he doesn't really respect that much as a player. I guess. I mean, I don't want to say that without him, without that actually being true about methods. Yeah. But I feel like he had troubles with Silly because of that. Like he wasn't getting on to play, I guess, at the time. And maybe with methods as well. So I think he's obviously going to have respect for Austin, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I mean, winners always figure out how to how to work out a team, I feel like. And I just don't think an ego clash would be the reason we fell. Not, right. like, too worried about it. Well, speaking about that, back into Roster Mania, since we were just talking about Silly and Gunless and the old EU, what do you guys think EU's going to do without spilling any beans if you have intel? Because I don't. And then also, what do you guys think they should do? Maybe that's a better question. I think, from the org's perspective, they should build around Alec. 100%. He's nasty. I think he's <laughs> oh, by far their that. best player. He's their best player by a landslide. And, um, nasty, I don't know, I just feel I like... Mean, you would way, have to keep one, obviously. You gotta keep... Yeah, you gotta keep least, two huh? players. So I feel like it's either the Twins or playing Silly. Just because it's got to be two, and I think that's the only two that makes sense, in my opinion. Well, you got to think Alec doesn't want to play without Pristini, right? So, I feel like brother, from perspective, I don't know. I don't want think so. Yeah, so, org, perspective, org perspective, you're like, if you're Burns, you know you want to keep Clay. Well, it's like, from the org perspective, you want to keep Clay, because he's Clay. But if you're trying to build a roster to win, you should take Alec yeah. over Clay. So, it's like, I don't know, I guess. We'll see what decision United yeah. makes because I mean, that's what it comes down to. I think every pro player I've talked to about it agrees with that. I yeah, I mean, one, he's nasty, dude. Yeah, it's one of the other. Alec could easily be on a top four team right now. Yeah, like, I mean, easily. Yeah, easily. They got top six at like almost every event, and I mean, yeah. most of the time it's been like he's been playing amazing in search or like somebody stepping it up, but he's always like consistently playing well. So yeah. I hope he has good luck and things work out for him and their team. Yeah, but I mean, so we can talk about tweets, that more looking really in the next slow. episode. Yeah, but I don't yeah. know what they're going to be able to do, though. Yeah, really. yeah I had that written down in here. Based upon their tweets, like, dude, yeah. their tweets have been kind of grim. I, yeah. I could see it end up, like, him almost sticking to a point. Yeah. Or, like, making one change and that's well, it. I think that's the problem with the roster made as a whole is, like, all the contracts and stuff. Or yeah, especially since we're paid it's so now. It's so tough to agree to, like, a deal, like, for the orgs, too. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of, like, I don't regular know, like, people on I Twitter, could, they don't really know about that. Well, I could see them almost sticking or just making one move, but I think they want to do two moves. Well, the thing just about it, too, is, like, when Roster Mania hits, every team always wants to get rid of their worst player yeah, for someone else's best player. Exactly. So yeah. it never works out. And it doesn't yeah. work like that. You can't just, like, drop, like your burger and pick up like a star of another team. Like it's not gonna work like that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. it doesn't ever work out people think it's gonna happen. So that's why I think in the beginning of the game, like you gotta just be smart about the rosters that you're making. Yeah. All right, moving on. Complexity all tweeted that they're restricted free agents. Where do you expected. think they- <laughs> Expected. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> after the national circuit, like them not making playoffs and stuff, I knew yeah. that was gonna happen. Where do you think they go? I mean, uh, I think I'll be Ashley surprised would be really the only one to... Like, who do you think has options? Like, options, options. Dashy. Yeah. Out of those, out of those four, Dashie. you think Dashy. Out of those four, you think Dashy. Uh, Dashy, and then probably fellow second. Well, all right. Yeah. Who would you? Who would you think? Like, for you guys, who has the highest stock? Like, if you had Dashie. to play with someone, Dashy, just because of talent. Yeah. 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 He's I'd, like, I'd our probably, talent. I'd probably say Dashy for sure. Like. I like. I just don't think anyone plays with Parasite after all the years. Yeah. Like, his attitude is his attitude. People don't like team with him. And I, just haven't, then, I haven't seen enough of their gameplay to know. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't enough about him either. Ton, but the, I think the fact that they can't make out an open bracket for yeah. two or three yeah, events in a row, I think, that, I think that says something. Because every event is like, all right, which, who's the top fucking M team? And everyone's thinking, oh, Cole's probably going to make it out. Like, that's right? a good then team. Then heretics or and something. Then, and then they fail. And then nah, they the, the top AM team is GGA Orange. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. But you, you think so? I think, they always yeah, make out of open system. Yeah, Birmingham I think was Ghost, the only time they I did think it. right now Ghost is probably the best AM team. 
Ghost is oh, pretty if good. you want to go off recent placings, it's probably E6. They should have made another pool 4-0. I mean, Ghost got 9th uh -huh. place. They, they beat, a they couple, beat a couple good teams. They like um, a 2-0 lead, a game um, 5, like 5-2. Oh, E6 did I play think good. Just, I just think throughout the past, like, six months, year, whatever, GGA Orange is probably the best AM team. Oh. They always, like, put up a good fight, at least in pool play. We forgot yeah, about right GGA there. Orange just hasn't got over that hump. Yeah, they're right That's there on the is. hump, but they just yeah, can't make it just... over. They beat all the AM teams. They're the open bracket freaking boogeyman, but once they get to pool play, they just can't figure it out. I don't know if it's because it's that long Saturday or what. I know nothing about those players. Maybe they have, like, maybe it's like a United thing where they have, like, a drama. Or something. And it could just be that they don't right. get that good practice online. Well, that too. We actually played them last night with a pickup team, Cap. That was uh, that was yeah. interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pandas Pandas I forgot. Too. Yeah, Lightning Pandas. Yeah, oh, I mean, okay. they, they yeah, placed top eight at Birmingham. Oh, yeah, so phase. Tachi, technically, they're probably the best Santa team. All right. Moving on. Have Talk to about TK. Something. Yeah, I was about to say Confirm that. roster. So, your guys' thoughts on TK dropping an MVP for another MVP and picking up the... Uh, Self-proclaimed, no, no, self-proclaimed <laughs> top prospect. You guys thought, I guess he is probably the top I prospect. I like the Pharaoh pass. It, 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 was, it, was, it was an unexpected move, but not a bad move. Yeah, I agree, uh, I agree with Dan. I, I, like don't, agree with, I don't agree with the Chino move, though. I don't agree with the Chino move at all. Chino, move either, Chino for methods is it's like a sideways. It's what me and John call the sideways. Yeah. You're not Chino's really improving, around... you're, not getting, you're not going down, you're just right there still. All right, I'm away on this. Methods is a fantastic player, but like, dude, Chino, after playing with him and against him over the years, like, he knows what he's doing. He brings a lot to the table with the yeah. team. Yeah. Like, statistically, he's not even that bad one, but even if he is having like a couple bad maps here and there, he's setting his teammates up. Like, he's doing the right stuff. And he's he's versatile. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think Methods is nearly as versatile I mean, as he was. As he was is. sacrificing like flex roll for Lamar. Like, he was kind of exactly. like, all right, Lamar, you don't want to run stuff. I'll do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was doing what like Donnie would, or Nick would do for Donnie back in AW. Like when you just like you're that weirdo that in this map you want to run an AR, in this map you want to run a sub. But now picking up Zinni, like Lamar is the flex on every map. Also, I'm a firm believer in this logic. If you are have a team that won already, right, especially in the same game, and you have a chance to win, like you're still performing decent, why risk that chance? Like replacing one player is not a big change, but replacing two is a brand new team. Why yeah. risk that chance at like being there? Like, all you gotta do is perform better, get better, and win. Like, why risk that chance of becoming a team that doesn't even have a chance anymore? Versus uh, like keeping that core, you know, like keeping the keeping those three. Like, obviously, Dylan was underperforming like for the last few events, and it may be a guess of how bad Wait, he's hold playing. On. What's but... a lie, Kenny? Kenny just came in the chat and said, "Whoa, that's a lie." Whoa, what's a lie? I don't know. That's what I just said. Like, Kenny, what's a lie, bro? Speak up. Is it me talking about the flex roll? Oh, while he's while he's while we're waiting for that, I want to talk about one more thing with the team. Like, methods and Lamar are both those kind of like hill AR players, like the 100%. the player that gets like two minutes. Like they played both play that exact role. I don't know how that like Chin does not play like that. He's more of like the aggressive AR, like running around. He still gets his hill time, but like not yeah. two and a half minutes. I, I mean, don't know how that's going to work out. I mean, Chino is have to jumping in and not take over up. the flex Chino will do it all. He'll jump in and bait, bro. Like, he'll, nah, he'll fly like five times and die just so we can. Wait, I'm pretty sure Chino ran a sub every map except for. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Lamar he ran, ran a sub Docs. every map except for Docs. That's yeah. what it was. But they were like both kind of the flex. Yeah, like, they were both. Yeah. Like, if you, you know, played them on Team Marine, Lamar's going to be the sub. If you play them on London Docs Hardpoint, Chino's going to be. And then obviously, they're going to play CTF Flex. Everyone flag, runs a everyone. sub on flag, basically. Uh, so. But if they did have an AR, it was Lamar again. I mean, if you guys were to ask yeah. me who I thought was I the know. slowest top AR, I would have said Methods. Like, I've watched yeah. him legit, yeah. like, yeah. pre-aim and not move for, like, a long time, bro. It would work, work out <laughs> with your guys' team. It would work out for your guys' team. But I remember watching me, like, do I have to play like that? Like, dude, that's so I, slow. That's nah, another yeah. thing that's going to be interesting for our teams because I play a completely different <laughs> AR than Methods. Right, you're just, you're just like for you it's just gonna feel so much easier dude you're about to just be like you're gonna feel free Question. more free on the map all right they fought lamar's forest zinni's forest does anyone play that team on forest <laughs> yeah uh, or is that their eventually. forest well i don't think it's <laughs> like yeah, a, the wait, bro, that that's, that that's map. i don't know I that's don't the one think... map i'd probably veto against them right wait yeah, do guess, you guys yeah. do you guys actually think those two players 
No, 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 but Kenny is also... No, I know, I thought he was really good at that. I thought Gene reason. and Lamar were just, like, well, gelled really well. And then with McGee and Kenny, I think that team, that team of four, understood the map better than anyone. Yeah. I mean, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see, bro, because it depends on also, like, Kenny. Like, who... Who's getting the hill? Who's who's well, pushing out cuts? Lamar. Like we don't, we Lamar, don't know. The one, Lamar, I'm pretty sure has had the most hill time. Though, like he's every just, event, we don't know how he's gonna a flex play out. now. He's gonna have to. I swear, he's gonna have to change up the way he plays a little bit. Bro, that's a big job. To, I don't know. They could. They're gonna but be I really mean, good. Obviously, I always but... think the hill is a team game. Like if you're there, you gotta get yeah, it. It's player relations. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Nato? Not what forest on TK. TK. I'm forest. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, no, <laughs> I, I think TK is and on forest. Um, I think TK is going to be really good. I think people are giving them too much flack for that fail pick, but that's going to be really good. good. I think I that's like a good risk to take. Yeah, yeah. The only, the only thing I'm like, curious about is like, with the answer, has like, the dumbest um, move and Lamar both uh, hill players. So, um, that's like the only thing. Like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to like figure it out. But... Oh, oh, Kenny said that they're still trying to figure out who their flex is in scrims. Oh, okay, it's not 100 yeah, so, Lamar yet. Yeah, then he yeah, might so, be open to do it. Zini ran a sub for a little bit in the beginning, did he not? Next threat, one yeah. of them is gonna have to pick up the pace, bro. Yeah, yeah. One of them is gonna have to pick up bro, the pace. Bro, either faster. way, they'll figure it out, dude. Like oh, they're yeah. all good. No, they're gonna be a solid team. 100. Plus, they'll be really good at search, probably too. Plus, yeah. I think Kenny's I nasty, think. and any team he's on, obviously, is gonna be really good. And Lamar's been playing amazing lately too. He got like back to his early game form, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think your level just went up, Nada. Yeah, it literally fucking blows cock. Oh my god. Uh, what's next? What's next? Take a drink after that you one. talk about the FAs? Right. Uh, yeah. Um, hold on. Let me, let me pull get, up let me that link. List. Yeah. One second stream. I'll post it in the chat for you guys too. I have like a link. I don't think this is all the FAs, but it's a decent amount of them. Where's my mumble? I got so many tabs open, bro. Well, I mean, we could also talk about where, where Cheen could possibly land, I guess. I mean, it makes he has to go to envy, has to. I mean, yeah, that'd probably make the most sense. He has to. Yeah, well, they, what they yeah, need. Yeah, but they, they gotta no do one, something no else. And that. if and if I was on that team, I'd be going for Cheen. Like if the, I was still on the, the team. The three of them with just Cheen taking your spot doesn't make any yeah. sense. Oh no, 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 no. that's what it's I said. It, it, they got it. Not gonna too. work with anyone else. Nah, they can't just. Yeah, no way. Like I said, our team is on a one person problem. We can touch on that then. Let's just touch on envy. Yeah, like I said, they do pick. I think Cheen, you have to pick up, but then. Like Austin said, it wasn't a it wasn't a one person problem, so you have to make another change. Yeah, I mean, so I'm pretty sure that stuff's change. in the works. Intel, Intel. Um, but I've, <laughs> I have no I have no idea um what they're. I, mean, gonna I think do. it's in the works too, but I mean, for your guys' opinion, like that team, like, I agree just, with you guys. It's they a matter of overhaul, but I just what don't they know to do if, and, like, what which players two. what players are gonna get. Like that's the problem is yeah, filling the shoes. Like, but the they United, cannot. I, I just I can't see like my three X teammates sticking together, all three of them. I just can't see that working. Yeah, no, no way. I think that uh, the United thing we were talking about, where if they keep all those players, that it's gonna screw over like a team like Envy from getting the player that the players that they want. Yeah, yeah, that Envy yeah. team would be great with Chino and fucking Arcides, but like yeah, that's just not gonna happen. So I don't know. I think they might end up uh, being like a makeshift roster. We'll see how that goes. But They'll I probably mean, end up having to take a risk on someone. Yeah. Well, I mean, probably, yeah. I guess we'll figure out more and talk about that in the next episode. But uh, a couple of the free agents we got on this tweet, obviously me, Parasite, Blast, Cheen, Theory, Fellow, Dashy, Study, and Proto. I mean, I we already touched on Cole. I don't They're see any good teams on you guys. On yeah, I mean, I... I have like kind of a plan right now. It's really all over the place, so I can't really like. I mean, obviously, I'm talking to theory, um, but and a couple other people like I can't really talk about yet. So I'll save that really, I guess, for the next episode. But yeah. um, I mean, if I play, it's got to be with like certain people. If not, I'm, I, I mean, not going to the event doesn't really help. I don't know if you guys saw my tweet where I said I did see your tweet. Not going to an event I never. Helps. I don't think it ever, ever helps. Yeah. Ever, the ever, thing ever. is, dude, I don't want to go like and Bro, play. Going and playing with doesn't matter who is the way best team you can get going. is yeah. better than not going. Every well, the time, thing is, if opinion. you don't go to Seattle, yeah, I might not even. The get... only chance you get to stage two is if a team picks you up, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess I can go and get a You might shot, not even like, have a team for, like, relegation, right? Do I go and just, like, fund myself? Hopefully we we qualify, I guess. I mean, wait, I guess wait, it's you a good... Could, you could find an orc still, like... 
I mean, I guess it's like a, the font, it's, a like, it's a good risk. I don't know. I have to find a team that I I want to I want to go. I mean, with first. it's never bad going into like relegation without an org, because then that sets you up if you do qualify. That too. Yeah, have leverage on every org. Yeah, that's actually a good point because then we qualify, you can't get over. But Ricky's team couldn't find yeah. an org though. That's what I was. They had a up. small window. I guess they're not the most known players either, so it might be a little yeah. bit more difficult for them. Um, but uh, the era team, because I see some era players on here. What do you guys think goes on with them? Well, I mean, if they want to keep the league spot, two of them have to team, right? And Arrow's mm. already out the window. What he's if he's they? What if they disperse to different places? And they're on teams that are already in the league, and there's like one player left. What happens to their league spot? Does it just go to the next that, team? That, you have to go to the rule book for that one. I don't know. Yeah, I literally have no idea. Because if it goes to the next team in pro points, that would give Theory <laughs> like the most pull out of the free agency out of anyone. Yeah. Because he has oh. like what? Like 70k, 80k pro points? Way more than that, yeah. Yeah. So that would for sure. Everyone wanted. To... Theory, because he's like guaranteed a league spot, pretty much. I don't know how they would do that, bro. I would think That'd it would weird. just go to like the seventh place team of their out? division, they, right? Or do they just auction the league no, spot I think, to an org? I think MLG would have to. Uh, I don't even okay. know if that's like in the rules somewhere. I think MLG would have to make a decision. It would just like, go to the seventh place team of their their league, right? Of the or well, who do you who do you pick out of division A or division B? Yeah, it'd be it'd be in their division, obviously, because they outplaced them and then they disbanded. Yeah, but that's not so, fair. So you so you give it to Mind Freak because they yeah, got seventh in division A. I mean, that would make sense. Nah, right? I think. I don't Pro think so. Maybe? maybe some kind of tournament or some like. Or do you just open another spot works. in relegation? Maybe yeah, pro points. And you just have, have like to be pro points, bro. between three and four or whatever. It'd have or, to be pro points. That's all. Third? That's the only metric they would have is pro points. I don't know. But the, they can but make the it, problem with that around. is like. Pro points literally don't matter once you're in the league, and we were told that. So that's to go back on that, like, oh well, now pro points matter. I mean, but they need to have some sort of... They can't just make a yeah. decision. Like, they need to have a I, reason. A uh, fucking consolation match would probably go away. That would be good. weird, dude. I mean, that's yeah, I mean, almost it, like... It'd be weird, but it's another... another I mean, you'd have man. to do something like that. You'd yeah, have to have, have a match for it. For what it's I don't think it's going to come to this. No, Wait, I don't think hold so on. either. That's likely. Well, that... Well, Ferris going to TK. You think two more of them are going to go to another team no, that's already in the league? No, only one more. Blasted... What, Bla Bevels was a part of that, and he's done. No, Bevels is not part of it. Blast is part of it. No, Blast is now in Bevels. Blast is part of it, I promise you. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Does Blast Blast helps retain that? Yeah, yeah Blast, Blast From what, like I'm, Blast from what I'm told after talking to Blast literally one hour ago, he was unsure whether he had it or... According to MLG fucking... Rami from MLG, you know him, but uh, the child doesn't yeah. know him. So MLG League Ops, basically... Look, Blast Bevels just said it. it right there in the chat. Nah, Blast doesn't. I technically have it. What? That's what, what I said. I was talking I to him heard... about an hour ago, and wait, what MLG I, think, I thought Ron said MLG, said... MLG and Rick told me different. <laughs> Someone's so, gotta get that figured out. <laughs> so, I, guess, I don't know. I guess we all heard so, different shit, but all right. Let's just assume for entertainment that that is it's gonna because that's likely it comes to that, right? They got so Rick that, and Desi that would have to stay together, or and if they didn't, there'd be some weird consolation and... somehow. Well, that's, that's gonna be crazy. Uh, We'll see. Yeah, that was... Somebody's getting blessed is pretty much what's happening. Because I've also seen, yeah, Bevel said that he's not playing, like, period. Yeah. He could. He's looking to coach, I think. Yeah. He's not playing the league, so. But if he still has it, then that's crazy. I think that's that wraps up uh, the rosters. And unless you want to talk about. Is there any other players? Because I, I, I still want to talk about the Echo update. Fox? I mean, I mean, yeah, we didn't Echo talk about Fox, Fox and, like, at all. EG, like, your team. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, like... <laughs> So I don't know what your old team's trying to do. So <laughs> my restricted. team, my team, I I can't really I don't want to say anything. Yeah, but I'm not really sure. Much info on it. I think there's a lot of stuff going down. It's not like they just want to like get a player, you know? Yeah. Like there's well, there's people like, there's like the working idea, parts one of this. One, it's not one for one, one isn't really gonna solve. <laughs> it's not a one person problem. Yeah, it's like a failing thing. team. Like... A one for one, it's not gonna really gonna solve anything. And there's also like you're not doing well. You don't really want to stay on the same team and like make one trade. I so, also want to say I hate this restricted free agent shit because it's basically mean? saying everyone who's like it's like restricted free agent basically out. means one of two things. It means one, our org's letting us look for a different option, but like we may still set team. Or in like your case, and it basically means your org wants to drop you, which you even tweeted you got dropped, but yeah. they are not just gonna 
release you from your contract, which yeah. I think is like, I don't know. I hate that aspect of it. I mean, I hate yeah. that aspect as a player. They're, they're but like, trying to release you. you. Money, we don't want they're trying you, to drop you. Money they back. you. I mean, I, I guess, think, but I they paid me. They paid me good money, so it's like they well, don't want to just like they well, have to have think, insurance. I, until think, they... I was thinking about how like real sports work earlier because I don't even know how the esports work when it comes to this. I have no idea. I don't follow the esports, but in real sports, usually when you release a player, they're still owed whatever is left on their contract. You don't oh, just wait. Really? Hold up, hold up. Son. Yeah, wait, in hold most up, sports, me... in most uh, sports, except the NFL, soccer does it. Wait, you let release me check your my email, son. NBA, <laughs> MLB. I definitely do it, and I think MLB does it, but MLB, or I'm NHL. Sure does. MLB does. I meant NHL. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. NHL does because I don't follow hockey in years. I mean, I think that they. But, the reason I mean, cap is it's not insurance. in our contract, so I don't think. I don't think you have a case there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I like if their plans go through, if their plans go through, people. they could force me to play with them unless I said I have them retired. And I think that's like you have to have insurance, like from a business aspect, like you don't just. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's make a roster change. Peace out. Go wherever the hell you want. Uh, and I mean, we're going to try to get this guy. You know? I mean, that's how sports work. Hey, we agree to a contract. We're going to pay you this much money. If we decide we don't want you anymore, we still owe you that money. That's how in it should be. In esports, it's almost more generous. It's like, hey, we'll just cut you for free. Yeah. We don't owe you any more money, but we're going to let you go do what you want. I mean, that's what you said is how it should be, in my opinion, if they're going to be yeah. like restricting us like this. But I mean, EG said that they're willing to work with me and trade me and stuff. I mean, if that makes it any better, but yeah, but um, they're still looking for value. They're not just going to give you away again, even yeah. though they want they want to get rid of you. for obviously like a, another player. Yeah, but they're not just going to let you go. Even if they get their other player, they're still going to. I mean, uh, but they're still paying <laughs> until they release you. So it's not like that's just like, trapping. bro, that's like. We, yeah. Fucking Ross Fox in four days. They're yeah, gonna pay you an extra four yeah. days. Where so I, like... I'm, essentially, if I find a team, I'm gonna have like 48, 72 hours to join it. But I mean, I'm sure they'll be cool about it. Like, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it should be like what you said. No, I agree <laughs> with that 100. percent That's what I was thinking about earlier. Like I said though, like that bothers me about this whole thing, and it Dude, creates a lot days, of. Bro. It, it goes back to what we were saying before. It creates a lot of problems with actually forming these rosters because the orgs also got to get what they want. Yeah. Every time. It's really like, hard to get. It's annoying, dude. It it's never a... really works out. You don't usually yeah, get your first roster. You a lot of time, teams don't make the changes they want, or players are stuck with players I they don't want to play with. This, I don't know. I think, like, if I was under contract, this roster mania would not be nearly as bad, probably. No. and Because um... I wouldn't have been able to, like, go wherever I wanted, and then that wouldn't have, like, sparked, like, methods going somewhere, which then gets Cheen, someone else, just dominoes falling. I mean, FaZe winning and LG winning in like within like three weeks also helped. Russell also, make yeah, it less crazy. yeah. But like, like you look at last year, changing. everyone was trying to change last year. Everyone was just under a contract. Yeah. So nothing happened except the gunless thing, right? That was it. Yeah. Players union. Well, players gunless, the gunless one, held up that thing. whole situation. Who the players union? Well, gunless didn't hold it up, but they held up that whole situation. Yeah, we were. Everyone was waiting on that to happen. It happened the last day, so we're just like, ah, oh, well, ah, we're still teammates. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah. This roster mania has been a little more late. It's not even done yet, so we'll see. Bro, you guys think there'll be more changes after uh, Seattle? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh, really so. I don't know. Bro, I'm hoping for that. I don't know. Cause... <laughs> Damn. Like, most teams are changing, or at least trying to change right now, as like, is. If they don't so change like... for Seattle, they will after. Yeah, I but don't know, the, what problem if... is, the problem is if you form a team at Seattle for Seattle, it's like, at this point, you're getting, what, a week's worth of practice before Seattle? Not like, no, I'm saying, I'm like, if, if people didn't meet that deadline, like, for example, like an Echo oh, Fox or EG, where they're, oh, well, they're yeah, forced people, to go to Seattle uh, like, yeah. with the same team again, then afterwards is when they can make their change. Well, well what, what if you take advantage of this, though? Well, yeah, but then you have the same problem. What if Optic yeah, goes and gets eighth? Up. What'd you say? What if Optic what if goes Optic? and gets eighth? Or sixth. Yeah, like, or, why you wouldn't know? you take advantage of Seattle with your new team to see how you perform and then possibly make another, like, I mean, makes sense. There was, uh, there was already rumors of them possibly changing anyways then after this event and they would go and get eighth never know I mean, if it were to happen yeah like maybe, if but... say they they go and they get smoked by like two of the new rosters like say the new rise just smokes optic and they lose to like phase again or something just let's just say it they would yeah. be they would have to make a change after this they event would, they would 100 make eight, a change yeah. like, like 100%. Coming, coming off of losing like that that's dude there's no regaining 
a, a win uh, yeah. to regain. Yeah, that's for it. you for sure. There's no a win. <laughs> a, a win. I mean, even for those players, like any for any player, almost. Nah, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's yeah. hard that's after tough. that to just be like, ah, nice try, guys. Go get them next time. That's I think tough, Optics' bro. role change actually solved a lot of their problems, yeah, and they're. I think I they're think legit, yeah, but it definitely made them better. I think they're legitimately good now, and I don't see them getting eighth like that again. I mean, I don't think they'll change either, but it's if possible. it does happen, then. I think the change That'd happens. That'd be another domino. Yeah. Bam. <clears throat> but how long do we have after Seattle until... May 7th. May 7th is Russell. So it's like two weeks. When's Seattle? Two weeks, like nine Seattle. days or some Seattle. shit. Seattle? Yeah. Next Three week. Seattle. So it is... You'll have like a week and a half? Yeah. Two weeks? Two weeks bro. probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Sunday yeah. night. I need some Seattle's gonna be lit. It's smoked, bro. <laughs> also, That's like, right. something could change to, like... Let's say, for example... Like, obviously, I'm pretty sure a lot of people want a team with app. Like, a su world-class subs are hard to come by. Like, say EG doesn't make it in, like, a team might go after him after the fact. Yeah, kind of like, like what happened with Envy last year. He didn't make think, it to the league with yeah. Liquid. So I think Envy if, uh, swooped up? I think it, that might be the only type of changes we see, realistically. But who knows? All right, we'll talk more about Roster Mania on the next episode. So yeah, we can talk for a while. Well, we can talk all day about this. Right, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to up. talk about, like we said. The update, bros. Your <laughs> thoughts after grinding. I have been grinding. I know you guys have to. Not a fan right now. Yeah, you definitely not a fan. You're always I, like that. In the I, I, I just, mean, I think dude, Gung the game's on air slower. Yeah. Game slower. The steady aim gung-ho is absurd. Steady aim airborne. Absolutely we're, absurd right we're now. We're going to have the gentleman I'm, steady aim for sure. I, uh, I, just, I just think the logic between bring, giving everyone attack and a lethal and not bringing in a trophy is, didn't make sense. I mean, they, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, you're, yeah. like now it's trying so to keep many the explosions. Realism. It's so many explosions. Just but like the pods, everyone's off. running. Bro, it's armor. not even hurt you that bad. Even do anything. It's just annoying, like seeing four yeah. stuns fly in my face, That's bro. Like... like Crane Hill is absurd, dude. And London has become like my least favorite map. I hate playing London now. I feel like there's just so much just stuff flying in the air. <laughs> that shit's fun with Gung Ho, bro. You should try it. <laughs> I just think I think they need to change a few things, like the Gung Ho. Uh, I mean, they already. If you us go out. back to one tactical, I think it. I think it could actually be a better meta. And like better things if they like just update a few little things like, i don't know why they gave us an extra tactical and they made yeah, armored op that. that that like most of the eights i'm playing most people don't even throw their stun it's almost worse to throw your stun except yeah. to just stun check an area because he has armored nine times out of ten i mean a lot of the times if i see a stun in the air like if i'm in like a challenge right i'll just instant challenge the guy like right when the stun's flying yeah and then and then like gung-ho you're sprinting you're not getting punished for sprinting at all because i'm just firing from the hip like Come yeah. on, man. Yeah, it's kind you of a wow. dolphin Brilliant. dive. And you can shoot. die, yeah, you can legit yeah. dive into a snap. I don't know if people watching my stream yesterday. I saw that. I was literally just running around with steady There's aim. There's a clip of it. That was really bad. And do you, I've seen you running uh, airborne a lot today or whenever I was watching your stream. Do you feel like when you're running around, this is how I feel, and you come out of sprint and you snap, like it takes like longer to no, aim yeah, in? No, yeah, It just feels like feels, it. Feels it's it's always been like that with Gung Ho, though. That's why no one used it. Yeah. Yeah. The only people I've ever used with like an AW was Twiz and John, I remember used. The gung ho back talk about in AW. Fox? But like, I don't know what's going on with Echo Fox. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I can't really say much, but uh, <laughs> um, I, you guys will definitely know what's going on with our team within probably the next 24 hours. Oh, you should at least. I, so. I thought with Echo Fox is that Yuli and Adam can't be on the same team. Yeah, yeah. I, agree. I don't think it's a one person Two problem. Two different cases. No. Yeah, me neither, actually. I, just, it's not I think this happened problem, with those players. They should both be men and ours, though. Dude, I think that's where it starts. Back to the update though, another thing with it that we, we haven't even like noticed yet because we haven't played any S and D is the fact that snipers can hold their breath for ten seconds. Yeah. On yeah. any class. Yeah, with well, like airborne somewhere. somewhere yeah, else. No, that's that's actually pretty that. We're gonna have eight we're gonna have eight smoke. Wait, is it on any class? Time. I thought mountain does ten seconds. I thought but it was now, any class. No, I think only only sharpshooter has that on mountain, but uh, you can hold your breath in every class. Wait, I don't even I don't know that every class. Either way, that's just like I, oh, yeah. I feel like with the, with the changes, they had good intentions. They just, like, if they just would have, like, <laughs> asked like... us first or, like, you know, like, if we could have gave input before it came out, like, it would have been. I mean, I, I know, love the streak change, bro. I, mean, I love that. No, the streak change is great. We That's gave... what I'm saying. Like, the intentions were good. We gave input just... on the game before it came out, and they disregarded yeah. a lot of that, so. I know. It's tough, dude. Like, this update, I know there's, like, to help esports and it, it did help a few things but there's just once that four it two definitely steps back almost, some things 
But it's like, I think the biggest problem right now is just two tacks. And then the game's just so slow, Bro, dude. honestly, if they would have legit just changed the streaks and did whatever they did to nades, like fix nades a little bit. And then just get rid of this, Prime, dude. And get rid of Prime, this would have been like, yeah. this game would have been fun. Yeah. So. I don't, yeah, dude, that's another thing. I don't understand some of their, like, <laughs> logic for something. Like, they were like, you know, we listen to your feed. Like. We listened to your feedback. We got rid of Prime. Well, it. We threw it on armored and made it better. Yeah. Like, come well, then on. gave like, everyone three attachments. I it's like also they had a problem, like, in their data that, like, enough people weren't using, like, combinations of trainings and I hate visions. that, that like, matters, people, bro. People that, weren't that using, shit, people weren't stupid. using airborne with ARs. It was, like, an, an example that I heard, and I'm just like, yeah. well, duh, you when, set you're, it up. when you're <laughs> giving all the benefits, like, Oh, Infantry just think about AR, it. It's like... Go go make a custom class or go make a thing, and when you click airborne, it gives you a sub. It automatically gives you a green yeah. one. When you click infantry, it automatically gives you an AR. Like you set it up like that. Yeah. I mean, well, now, like, bro, you can run airborne AR because you get that extra attachment now. Like that would held a lot of people back from using yeah. airborne ARs. Yeah, but if you use airborne AR, you're gonna get massacred by their stuns or nades. I mean, you yeah. run airborne or, instincts or, and just dodge nades. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, the, we'll then see the CTF most straight. But you're, and then you have you're gung hoing. You're gung hoing. Oh, with I, think about that, yeah. I understand that logic, like, like, but for this game, there's no dodging nades. Like you I only mean, to an extent. Like the way the maps are, the way the game is, like. Bro, like Crane Hill, you can try to dodge nades all you want, but when they keep spawning up, R10, you're dying. I mean, tax are just, in my opinion, tax are just way too essential in this game, and they gave us another one. That's like, that's an issue. And we're not like, even, we're to... not even bringing up the problem with smokes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, I'm just hoping we avoid that. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's... we're already ha we're we're have to be gentlemen. A gentleman's, that. Yeah, more than one smoke on a team is not competitive. So search, dude. There's gonna be eight of them. I still, I still think we have, to hold, we have to hold it to one or two. We have to. Bro, two if anything like more than absurd, that, bro. it's two like, bro, like, S Ghost. Yeah, two and S &D is fine. Ghost worked because you had a thermal. Because you had, you like, look through it, stunning yeah. nade. You had ways to counter it. Like, this, there's no thermal. There's no need for them to run incog. They just throw a smoke ever, all over the map and just run through it. Can't do yeah, anything. Dude, I don't know. Questionable, dude, don't questionable Ghost, changes, bro. Ghost was well-balanced. With, kind of yeah, the like stuff you could, I mean, I'm yeah, saying like yeah, pick yeah. system was pretty I'm good. I'm saying between yeah, yeah between could trap perks. on a red dot that had thermal and I had to waste four points for incog. Yeah. But it ne it needed that though because of how many smokes like three points. It could have been better, but okay, it was so, pretty shut good. up, sweet. Not a, or Austin, real quick. How um how long have you played with this update? Like, have you played a lot today, or just like one or two series? Uh, I played like two series of eight, yeah, not right. that much, but I've watched a lot. Like, I've read into it. So, what is your thoughts on the um, on the infantry strafe speed? Uh, I mean, it's it's definitely faster, but the way the game is right now, I try to run infantry, and you just can't do it. <laughs> like, I'm getting stunnerated like eventually, and I just switch back to armor. So I have to. I mean, yeah. Now with the extra attachment, I guess, I don't see a need for using infantry. Like, you don't need more No, honestly, your team should have no. to run a signal, a gas, a stun, and a smoke. Dude, but a if, gas if, might be the play. If there was only a but one armor counters it still. and most teams were running four and eights, I'd it? run infantry hunker. Pretty sure. It still damages sure. you, right? Maybe, barely. That's probably the update, though. The, the gas does one, one HP damage for every second you're in it, and it does a maximum of five. Mm. Maximum five seconds. So it's like... Almost yeah. nothing. I mean, another thing is, though, with this change that they made to what Austin just said, if they, like, take out to where you get a nade and a stun, it poses, like, new issues, though. Like, now somebody with infantry has, like, the most stacked gun ever. I think that's lame. I always think it's lame when somebody has an yeah, attachment how, that I don't have. How was the start of the game when we had to run prime? Infantry the prime. French, <laughs> infantry yeah. prime, dude. The AR's four attachment just... FMJ was God. still allowed at the time, too. And F I mean, oh, to be fair, God. the subs also got Ombre, though. So it's not like just yeah. ARs. And, like, I don't know. I think I think the ARs are the weakest they've ever been right also, now. I think so the like... game was fine where it's at if we just removed from... Bro, we got to talk about I the like oh, what about, wait, what about the What about the movement, though? I feel like the movement's hella clunky, you know? Oh, I like yeah, a limited yeah. sprint. I like That's a limited sprint. I feel like the player's speed... Yeah, like off. I mean, I feel like it's it just slow. it just makes your movement it, it just makes your movement feel clunky. Yeah, Bro, the so. only time I feel fast is when I'm like not moving. I'm in a position. I'm like strafing and like instant chow someone. Other than that, dude, it's it, the movement feels so slow. And any type of engagement is like it's annoying now.
What? Are, wait, what other games have been unlimited sprint? Modern uh, Warfare 2 with Marathon. Uh, I Black Ops 2 was. Ghost it, was, it, wait, was it MW3 unlimited sprint? No, Ghost, Ghost had Marathon. Oh, did it have Marathon what? Pro? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't unlimited. Right. There's been a game with unlimited sprint. Because I, I, when I was playing today, it felt so weird. I don't think I've ever packs like unlimited like, sprint at all. A W. No, I mean, Austin, even when they, I was even running the were, flag, you were jumping around and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Bro, when yeah, I was no, running the flag, sprinted. it felt so weird, dude. I was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm out." Like when I, I yeah. was running on London, you know, like when you run through middle map on London, yeah, and you, like, yeah. lose your sprint. I'm like, wait, I'm not diving, bro. I'm straight sprinting. Bro, through I, here. I was yeah. just, I kept oh, yeah, catching yeah, myself, like, dive. yeah. Like my left thumb would like be itching to like sprint again. Like when you'd lose yeah, your sprint, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I just kept it, going. Like the, just kept going. I'm like I'm like, wait, something's not right. Just it just fell off. I mean, we'll get used to it eventually. I like but... it for uh I don't even know if the speed's faster, it just feels better. When you're hitting like a long pinch or you're like you're on rotation, it's nice to just be able to continuously sprint to like the position you want to get to. Like when you know nobody's around you and you just start walking, it's kind of annoying, so Yeah. It's kinda of nice. Uh, I like that. I don't think that's gonna be like a drastic change. At all. I mean, with a few tweaks, it won't it won't be like I the just, worst is a worst change. Yeah, the tacticals just need to be addressed. I feel like. Oh uh, yeah, just I, don't think, I don't think yeah. we should have two tacticals. So if they were to change like one thing and one thing only, even though I think there should be multiple things, but if we were to ask for one thing to be changed from, like, what would you guys want changed in this update? Well, I think it has to be airborne the gung ho just to at least add something. Yeah, the airborne gung ho and like the fucking. Speed of the fucking player movement. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm changing tactical. back to one tactical. I, I, to, I would one. do the tactical, dude. That's the first thing one. I'd do. Yeah. If it had to be one, dude, airborne sucks with the sub now, dude. I don't know. It has to be two. <laughs> we can't accept one. It has to be. Two. If it had to be it one, to be I'd probably go with the player movement speed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> make, maybe energetic a little faster, so like you just armor energetic oh, with a sub. Gung ho is it ass. Feels I hate gung ho, dude. It's not that yeah, bad, dude. but it's, it just feels awkward. It's not that bad. Like you can't, like your snap is just off dude, now. Dude, if like, you're, I'll if spread. you've never watched COD and you tuned in our stream after watching CS and you saw some guy running, just hip firing people or diving and shooting, that would look horrible, bro. I, I literally, I think we need to remove that ASAP. We need to remove the extra tactical. We need to increase the speed. But if I had to pick one, like it'd be that, dude. It'd be the gung ho for sure. Yeah, same. It's just like it's something we haven't had in COD in the years. As a sub player, I agree. No yeah. one was there, you didn't use it, but now you're yeah. forced to use it. Now yeah, now you have That's to. That's what I understand. Like, what's the percentage of gunslinger you use in this yeah, game for them to just force bro, it, Dan, bro? Somebody in my chat just said airborne with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> that's what no, that's what people said. Like, what if what if Sledgehammer just wanted running gun shotgunners to freaking oh, play pubs? Oh God. Dude, Run out a shotgun, bro. That that's sounds awful. horrible. All right, so do we agree on one? There, we going with the I, think, uh, I think we I all think have. You guys are like gung ho, yeah. except for me. I think the tactical is more important. I think I think gung ho, and I I think with, I'm with Cab. I think the player just, movement is the way fucking, I, like way too slow right now. The reason why I say that is because like right now in hardpoint, running airborne is kind of bad. It is bad. So like, what does it matter about the gung ho if you can't well, even really run airborne if we all have I mean, tons of nades? The thing is, is like, yeah, you can say that, but like, running an airborne instinct is the same as running airborne primed, which a lot of people did anyways. Yeah. You just avoid, uh, you, just, yeah. you just run instinct so you don't get stunned, and then you but just hold the nades like you did already. Only had like things. one guy, maybe two. Hmm. Run that. Yeah, that was like a CTF thing usually. Nah, I, I, like hardpoint. At helped, playoffs, but... a lot of people running airborne primed in, in their hardpoints. Oh yeah, I, I mean, was running it. I, uh, I know running T, it too. I was running it. Freaking it it's hard. I, mean, was I think there it. needs to be two basic changes at least. You can't just uh, have yeah. one. Uh, it's yeah, too hard sure. of a question. All right, well, <clears throat> moving on. We haven't talked for a while, bro. It's already been an hour and ten, dude. We could talk literally all night about this. It's what we do every night. I mean, this is Wait, no joke, bro. Like we just be chilling. <laughs> this is literally what we do every night. Like we're being a little more professional, obviously, because yeah, we bullshit about us. other stuff too. But Nato was being wit, dude. Nato would have said like a quiet, million bro. more words, bro. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I honestly can't say half the stuff I would normally say to them on stream. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so um, this is something that I came up with that I wanted to add to it. It's called the Five Fingers of Death. I'm going to ask five, like, questions that uh, are going to kind of put y'all on the spot. I'm going to answer them, too, but I'm going to ask you guys oh, these five shit. questions. Um, you guys can – we can just talk about it amongst each other. But um, the first one, it's kind of like the hot seat. The first question 
is who has been the most underwhelming player this year? Underwhelming uh, player this year. All right, yo, hold up, bro. Whoever, whoever, like you guys say, is gonna get tight. <laughs> I'll go dude, first. They're oh, gonna yeah, they're be gonna dagger, dude. dagger Dan will break. That will go first. So don't say go anybody ahead, that you know that like, you have to like believe it, bro. No, I honestly think that this Wait. player, if he hears it, I'll light his fire. Wait, you don't. You don't I have to answer. Understand. You get one. Wait, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Before you say it, you get one pass. All right, all of you guys get one pass. What do you mean by that? Like you don't have to. Uh, one of the five questions no, you don't. I like that. I like that. I like that. You gotta answer no, all no, five. No, this is how we get this show lit, bro. Yeah, I'll answer it. Story lines. All right, fuck it. All right, I got, I got, I got two. I'm gonna go with. Oh, all right, we'll go with Cap first. What are you, what are you saying? You want me to go first? Yeah, go first. Wait, I guarantee one of these is Danny's answer. But I'm going with Hugh Contem. Ooh. Oh, your guarantee was wrong, by the spicy. way. Like no spicy, no way, really? Wow. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say Donnie when you said like I would light his fire if I said that. Oh, spicy, that's what you were thinking. Bro. That's what I got. Okay. I, mean, I could. I mean, I don't. That wasn't who I was gonna say, but I mean, I could agree with that. All right, name us go. Who, who do you got? I'm going last. Oh, never um, mind. Uh, awesome. I can go next. Let's see. I, I was. I was gonna. I'm not gonna say two. I was gonna say one. And I agree with Cap, but. I'm, oh, well, I'm gonna say Kyler, but I think he came in. Everyone like bro, when he played COD in AW, he was like incredible. We knew like them. coming in with with that X. You can't like we, we had all knew. High Wait, no one knew. Wait, no, no, hold on. no, I didn't know he was gonna. I think I'll, I think Kyler's good, but like I knew he wasn't gonna be the Superman Friar that he was in AW. Yeah. It's boots he had played years. <laughs> I mean. Wait, you guys really thought I mean, maybe he was not about to come back extent, and be the best bro, again? He was that guy. Uh, you definitely, he switched, yeah. He switched to Halo in a matter of a few months and was that guy in Halo. Yeah, Halo had a like, dash. Bro, so you thought he was going to be that guy. Like, he's obviously still really good. I think he he's, can be even better nice on a different team. But, and I think we had, like, it's tough for him because coming in, he just switched back to a boots on the ground cod from that Halo, which was like jetpack cod almost. So, yeah. I don't know. He came in at, like, a disadvantage, which kind of sucked. But I, I think, think, I think with time, he'll be really good again. I guess I think about it differently because, like, I think about it like this. Austin, in AW, like, you won your first championship. If you knew what you knew now, like, in AW, how good would you have been, you know? I mean, I would have been better. Well, you've learned so much. The, the main thing that was holding me back in AW is school. Okay. All right, Cap. You, uh, I don't know. I can't really ask you guys this question because you would I agree with what I you're saying. I thought they were going to be good. Wait, no. I thought they were going to be good, too. I thought, huh? I'm just gonna say, I thought that NVR was gonna be a lot better than they were, just because, and they had this mindset too. I don't know if I thought to the same extent they did, but when they were that team in AW, they were really good, and that's when Austin stuck compared to how he is now, because he was yeah. going to school. Yeah. And so they were like, okay, well now Austin's fucking nasty. So same team, we're gonna come back, you know, it may take a little bit, get back Kyler back in the cod, but you know we'll be that good again. And they just. Never figured that, it out. that was one of the reasons why I ultimately I think, went the with the decision. I yeah. was thinking about it. I was like, bro, these guys carried me in an event basically. Yeah. Like I was I had like a one flat with an AR and AW. Like I was terrible. I couldn't play the game. Like I just wasn't good. I was like, these guys carried me. And the way I'm playing now, like, oh my God. I guess for me, I, I so. think that Kyler's I, I think he's pretty good right now, and I didn't expect him to be like some over the top crazy talent going this uh, I mean he's still good. I still think he's a we, top player. He in AW he was like I said that fucking guy. <laughs> like, you, bro, you saw him on yeah, the map we... and you literally got scared. Wait, we no, still yeah. need three bro, I vividly remember uh, this one match we we're playing. I was teaming with Sharp and I was like, "Yo, it's it's hook left, it's hook left." And this is like no exaggeration. He started <laughs> turning around and running away. He's like, "Bro, <laughs> like he that like on Solar at the bomb. Like I got traded at the top street on uh, B bomb on Solar. And I'm like, "Yo, he's top street, top street." And he was like, "Oh, who?" He turned around and started running away. <laughs> okay, dude, this guy's got a shook, bro. All right, yeah. Nato, who do you think? Uh, I think I'm going to go with a similar answer. I would think Kyler, because he had, like, such, like... <sighs> That's boring. High expectations this game. Well, like, not high expectations, but I expected him to definitely, like, be a little better. I just personally think that, like, the team didn't mesh well, and he probably, like Austin said, he could probably be better on a, uh, a different better team, but, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I would say Kyler. What about you, Dan? Formal. Yeah, that's a. And yeah, that's why I figured you were gonna that, say that's after. What I somebody was gonna say. Uh, that. Yeah. I think he's I don't think Kyler because hour. we he's put the expectations now, on him. Like everyone expected Kyler. Like Kyler probably didn't even think it. He, Kyler probably personally didn't come in thinking he was gonna be that guy. I think like formal like. 
you, like, I just feel like you have not seen him have that map where you're like, he's that fucking guy. Like, in Grand Finals, like, you yeah. didn't see him just take over a fucking map. Like, I um, no, I, I feel like it could, be, it could be, like, obviously, to his defense, like, the role changes. Like, he was probably not comfortable coming in, like, he didn't know if he was running main AR, flex, like, obviously. He's we probably way know. better now, though, so. Maybe. No, yeah, obviously now, everyone's like, well, this should have been since day one. This is mm -hmm. how you should have ran your team since day one. But, I just think... For how he's played the last three years, I think he MVP hasn't played champs. to that. Yeah, like that's a good. Literally just disgusting. Like he was just throwing oh, up disgusting maps. <laughs> um, huh? I'm gonna go with Damon just because the last like couple boots games Damon's been absurd. So I thought going into this game he was gonna be like de like destroying everybody. That's just my personal like. I thought he was gonna be so good. Um, I think Damon's getting better now. Honestly. But it's, it's just their team. It's so funny to think about that video with him just, before this game came oh, out. Bro, it's comedy. Like, he was oh, like, you dude. guys are all Can fucked. I find that? Basically. Is that anywhere? It's a vision. Oh, yeah, that like, I don't know what's going on with these changes. Like, oh, I'm probably find that. Out, that and then the first that's just, that's just bad juju right there, bro. Yeah. I mean, so what are we It's the same Kyler, bad juju man, Donnie man. threw on dude, us at the beginning. We just fire, bro. Oh, yeah. No, Donnie did the same thing with Yeah, we played a ghost throwback, and he was like, the preview. I'm like, what? <laughs> ghost, bro. We're playing ghost. Preview. <laughs> We're playing a ghost throwback against pickup teams for a couple hundred dollars. Bro, if anybody has that clip, link it in the chat so I can it's play all it. All for fun. I was gonna play the Seth thing. Y'all are boring though. Like, I mean, I like the Daniel and Kyler, bro. You got this kid's too nice, bro. Kid's too nice. Who, Kyler? Yeah. Wait, I just said like, bro, he's still <clears> really <throat> good. No, like, I know. He just was I like I said that no. fucking guy. Yeah, but and, and we put that like you said, we put the high expectations. Yeah. I mean, when we say underwhelming, it's because we have really high expectations for, like, a player. Yeah. I mean, da Damon is nasty. Like, he's and, playing so good. No, I mean, obviously, that's why I said Matt. I mean, Matt's obviously still discussing. It's just yeah. compared to what we've seen. I, I, I firmly believe, had... too, whoever Kyler plays with next, he'll be a lot better. Bro, it happens every time. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, like, bro, to be in, like, finals and stuff, like, you got to be you gotta be cooking. Yeah. But um, moving on to question number two. Who is the current current best AR and who is the current best sub? And this is over the span of the year, consistency. Out of the year? Like who who or I, I shouldn't say current. Who has been the best AR and who has been the best sub? I mean, I think if you're talking consistency for AR, it probably had to be Sam, right? OG's place consistently the best. What you guys placing is like oh yeah, eighth say and then like third, second, first, three, third or something like that. Time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would have to go to Sam, cause, especially because they won. I was going to say Austin, but the last two events have decreased uh, my stock in Austin in that regard. Mm, Austin, did not have, Austin did not have good events <laughs> the last two events. But I think it's because he had his mind set on some other stuff. And um, as far as sub, I think that's hard. I'd probably, I'd probably go with uh, like Maybe like a Kenny. Well. Probably like a Kenny for sub. I, I'd probably go Stan Unanim Mayor. Unanimous Sam. It, it wasn't for... Atlanta, I could say John's a sub, but he had a bad Atlanta. I, yeah, I, think, I, I think I think sub is Kenny. Dude, I gotta I say Kenny, Kenny, bro. I think he's yeah, so I would say, good. I would say sub Kenny too, except because he two beated. And then most recently, probably Zuma. Yeah, he's been really he's been consistent. Wait, yeah. Zuma's been disgusting. I mean, Zuma. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Zuma's probably like that's been the one, but like this, his team's placing have been so poor before that. It's like tough. Yeah. Dude, this one is a big one, like dude. This one shot Tommy out. Like he's top two sub in the game right now. Oh. Like, this is, this yeah, I and he's not Zuma's two, nasty. and he's not two. No. I mean, <laughs> I don't think anyone doubted yeah. Zuma was good the whole time, but yeah, it's just like I don't know when your team's placing what they were placing. Yeah. I have to say he was the most consistent sub throughout yeah. the whole game. I, I would say Kenny though throughout the whole game, <laughs> yeah. and then For sure. you guys already know my AR answer, so. <laughs> I mean, Austin. Not the yet. last two, the last <laughs> two yeah, events. Yeah, <laughs> Austin, the last two events you did not play good though. I know, but. You yeah, said I'm consistently a... throughout the whole year, and his team is better than my team. You Not play true. better with a better true. team. That's facts. We don't make excuses out here, though. You got to turn up next, man. All right. All right. <laughs> next, next question, bro. Which team has underperformed the most? Team Envious. Team Envious. Yeah. I mean, you can throw oh, optic. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, you can throw optic in there too. I mean, I would say I would say Envy, but I was gonna say Envy's best placing was what Ford. 
I mean, it's so many teams, bro. I was going to say FaZe before they won when I wrote this, but not anymore. I mean, FaZe got, what, fourth and then eighth? Uh, eighth, eighth, eighth or something? and 12, yeah. But fourth, they did really well in the league, so, like, I don't know, like, Faze realistically looking on that team, looking at that team on paper before the year, I would have said they're like. Did you guys say splice? It's six. Twice maybe. They got second twice. Oh, they did yeah, get they're... second at the last time. Yeah, 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 no. It, it's got to be either envy or optic. People in the chat throwing my team. My team is up there for sure. But I think a lot of people didn't really expect us to do well. So I mean, I think they expected you to be better than you did, though. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't think you were gonna get to the league by the skin of your teeth. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, probably. I would say it's a combination of like us, Envy, um, Optic, but Optic's playing well now, but they're underperforming I mean, to their standards. For the year, for the year, they've been way underperforming to yeah. their standards. I mean, no doubt. Playing well Echo now. Echo Fox, just... too. Choked. Like, Echo Fox should be a team that's in the top four. In the, like, they, you guys should have been placing better as well. So, all right, moving yeah. on to the next I one. Agree. All right, moving on to the next one. Which players need to hang it up? Oh wow. shit! I didn't well, see this, this one. Is, this, yeah, this, is, uh, this is getting put on the hot seat. Yeah, right funny part I was about to say, like, dude, the first one was harder. Then you just hit us with two easy ones. Then you hit yeah. us. Yeah, it's, um, it's a wait. dagger, bro. Wait, I'll go. Oh, it's wait, a dagger. I'll, it's a, I don't like this. It's a, this yeah, bro, I'm I'm good friends with. I'm not trying to, you know. What the fuck? It's the dagger, bro. This is one we got. These are the ones that we gotta say. This, we gotta answer. This is spicy Does content. It have to I mean, be like a former pro. Can it be like an M? Like, it could be anybody who's still going to events. Dude, that the chat not be roasting you, Ed. Oh, my be... God. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't... Oh, I'm, Clay just popped I'm low up key. in the chat. He's getting butt hurt before... I, mean, I think I'm nasty at this game. <laughs> I think I'm nasty at this a, game. I got I'm an a... easy answer. I know who you're saying. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Actually, also, the answer is obvious. <laughs> oh, yeah, also, answer, though, he's, he's, been, he's been playing better. Nah, yeah. He, I'll give also, it to you. He's been looking better. Pat has finally, in the past three years, been shooting straight. I'll give it to him. Hey, man. It's boots, you know? Pat's, yeah, boots, Pat's, back. Pat's a boots legend. Nah. Uh, oh shit, that's Jerry, a tough Jerry is saying that's All right, are we all, are we unanimous? Hey, I told you guys about, this is why we had to have one pass. Are we well, unanimous? I mean, we could actually answer this if you want to. Like, well, yeah. I don't. Or Wait, stream. Don't I do not need it, bro. I'm nasty this game, dog. <laughs> y'all <laughs> get. <laughs> nah, I mean, y'all catch that me in the chat. Oh Nah, I expect that's why the spicy kind of that's why I asked this question. I knew people were gonna say that. Um, but we'll start with Cap. Putting you on the hot seat. You can pass. You get one pass. I don't want to use a pass. I was the one who said you don't get a pass. Yeah, I was about to say. Cap's the one that said, nah, nah, nah. This is tough. I mean, uh, the problem is, are we talking about like current pros or like no, just like any player? Well, I mean, if you're a current, hold on. If you're I mean, current, on, if you're, current, if you're current, current pro, pro everybody pro, chill. Every, hold on, everybody around. be quiet for a second. If you're a current pro, why the fuck would you retire? That's a good point. Yeah. What? Yeah. Right, so, <laughs> like, why the hell would you retire if you're if you're in the right, league then, or you're dude, in the league? My answer, if we're being honest, is just get like I don't have a single person, but like anyone who's been playing for like years and isn't making good money, isn't placing well, like that's my answer. I don't even know, like I don't have a specific person, but just like that's something that's always kind of <laughs> bothered me. Is like when people just. Play for years and like I don't know. Like at some point you have to get a job and make money, yeah, right? Where they're just, just not making survive. money. Where they're just chilling yeah. at home. Like, and yeah. I don't understand. I think like I see so many people in the community playing who don't support themselves off cop, but there's. I mean, still... We don't know their situation though. So, yeah. I, don't know. I, I mean, mean some I mean, some of them might not. Some some of them might just be cool and yeah, have money passion. or live like, at I home. Can't, I can't knock. Passion. One thing, and I respect it, but if it's not working, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I feel you. You have to make money at some point in life. You have to get a job unless you're just. Less. Yeah, I mean, if you're not making cash, you gotta do something to make some cash. Right? Right. It's the way life is. People are trying right. to juggle both. I'll I'll go next. Um, I don't really think this person should hang it up, but I think he needs to reevaluate his attitude. Okay, I would know, love yeah. to, see him, to see him on top. I would love to see him on top, and my answer oh, is yeah. Sloss. Yeah. I would love to see Sloss on a top four or five team. I think it'd be great. I just can't great. see like bro, I don't know what happened to him. I swear he's different bro, now he than he used to be. Black Ops 3, Black yeah, Black like 3. I just think he needs to reevaluate his attitude to an extent. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Adam. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Him, maybe get him I would here love to see him on top. I wish he was on top. I think he actually may have retired today or something, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Nato, your thoughts. Uh, 
Your cam went off, by the way. Oh, shit. Well, for me. Oh, for, uh... It's because my Skype uh, I'm on the stream, so I'm, just, I'm late. Yeah, it did well. But, um... I don't know, man. Like, past pros, I guess. Think about... I don't know. We could pass this one. I don't want to kill. Him. I don't, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't want to ruin. I don't want to ruin anyone. I was no. I was I don't thinking about ruin passing, but like you guys said, you guys. Like, hey, I mean, Ed, do you have an answer? No. I, I truly don't. Here. Not anymore. No, I don't want to ruin anybody's night. That's not a good question, dude. We're, we're oh, I really, I really oh, really don't have an answer. He said someone never tired. That's like me saying sharp. Yeah, Austin, you didn't give an answer. Wait, I said slaws. First off, first off, first like first off you times. specifically okay. said he shouldn't hang it up. You just said he has to change his attitude. Wait, wait, wait. You did the opposite. Yeah, you said. <laughs> no, no, no. You okay. the easy way out. And if, completely... if he keeps acting the way he is right now, he should hang it up. If he so keeps, cop out. like, not trying. So cop out. Well, not um... I mean, at least I said a name. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I respect saying a name because I don't want to throw daggers, but I... I don't yeah, want to no. throw daggers either. No, I, like I said, my mine definitely. No, applies if to we, anybody who says something to this, this wasn't a good question because it's gonna ruin that person's night, and I'm not trying to do that. Uh, I, Dan, hold on, let Dan, I, I Dan, think Dan you have truly, an answer. I think if you truly believe nah, you can do not, it, yeah, you should yeah. keep doing it. I ain't trying to ruin nights. I'll actually say a name, but I ain't trying to ruin. It. Ah shit! All right, people Hope are already tweeting formal that I said he's the over, over uh, underwhelming. Like, <laughs> the right hit it like you, Looney said you should retire. <laughs> Yeah, they'd have pitch for sure. Uh, All right. Sorry, Sloss. You know I love you. All right, the last five finger death. Yeah, I I'm gonna say a cop out, yo, Mochilla. Hang it up, cousin. <laughs> yeah, it was, he typed in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> Moch, nah, you just gotta stop drinking, homie. Shh. Every night with you, man. Dude, yeah, Moch, just, bro, just, all, just, just retire from alcohol, bro. Do y'all follow Moch on Snapchat, God. bro? It's like real life. It's, this shit's crazy, bro. Some real life crazy ass shit on a Snapchat. You went straight edge to like straight alcoholic cousin. Yeah, Moj be... Mo used to be that guy that would be like, "Oh, you guys need to drink to have fun at parties," and then all of a sudden. <laughs> I wanted to be Bro. known on stream also. This whole time in this question, Slack to message have been spamming Nezlo and Dito in the chat. Yeah, two scum, dude. Slack is a scum, bro. Come on, man. Stop spamming their names. You're gonna. They've been, like, they've been trying to do it in the chat. Too, didn't too, didn't I'm calling them out in the stream. They're sitting in the chat, you know. No, nah, I mean, those are actually good good answers. I mean, I guess if you're talking about not really making cash. But, dude, to that um, question or to that statement, Dito's number one in the National League right now. So, in your face, Josiah. Is he? Yeah, they're 7-0. Yeah, he is. 7 I think him rallied. Haven't lost a match. I don't know who else. Team Blizz. Blizz. National Blizz and League. TCM, right? Oh, yeah. Blizz and TCM. I haven't That's lost right. a match. Right. Yeah. So, do your research first, Josiah. Um, and the last Double question. Double down to Dito again. The last, the last question is, you guys think Optic will win a chip this year? We got, well, four events left. Well, I mean, can they regain? That's Dude, the question. This will be the first game they, if it doesn't happen, right? They go a full year yeah. without a chip? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I mean, Dude, well, what, what do we have? We have Seattle. I mean, Anaheim, stage two playoff chance. We have four events for this to be done. I think now, if they're going to win their event, their best time, no, yeah. right? if they're going to win an event, it's got to be Seattle, bro, or else they're going to lose full. Now, now's their best time, yeah. I kind of agree with answers. I think if they don't win Seattle, then, like, I don't know. Yeah, they might change or what. I'm, yeah. And plus, like, uh, with all the roster changes going on right now, right now, like, like teams have, like, a week to practice. Yeah. I mean, dude. I don't know. Phase isn't really that good at open events. LG. <laughs> they're not good outside of Columbus. And, uh, well, I mean... Optics show they can beat LG, like, they, and Optics they look on point like the right now. Team. So it if they're going to win an event, it should be this one. All the new rosters and stuff. So they better. They, I think they should take advantage of this tournament. All right. Not so sure. that's going to wrap up the five fingers of death. Uh, lastly, we can just freely answer some questions from the chat and then sign out of the podcast. So if you guys got any questions? And, Ask them in the chat, and we'll go ahead and answer them, and then we'll dip out. And nah, Doug, Doug and Donnie canceled the 10K bet. It's that, that Now y'all lit my fire. Priest, you literally clutched up. No, I what, said, you said we're only like... good out of Columbus. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, dude, like, Optic should have easily won that event. You know it. Like, you clutched up. You All right, won. Yo, the chat's moving pretty it's quick. It's crazy shit. I need you guys to look at the chat. Lots of top two placements at Atlanta. I Tommy mean, that top in for a lot of teams. Tommy, drop that loss to top two teams. Excuse. I hate that excuse. It is such fugues. If you win, then they're not top two. Yeah, true that. 
Like, I hate when people point. use that excuse. Oh, well, we only placed this because we lost the top two teams. Well, Jenna lost. Boy, is someone going to keep up with questions? Cause, damn, I'm trying to look for some good yeah. ones, bro. <laughs> all I'm seeing is that I'm trash. It's all good. What, what, what is the biggest surprise to us for me? I think TKP uh, not fair, but... That burn. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be on YouTube, so if you, if not, we don't ask you guys a question, we might have answered it. Whoa, what the hell is that? I Why is it showing the, that? The, oh, man, are you serious, bro? No. <sighs> leak, 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 leak. That. What leak. did it just show? Wait, what it just show? It the... showed the H chat. Oh, it didn't show anything. We're good. Showed the H chat? Wait, I, that, yeah. Yeah, I think you renamed Whoa. everyone. So no, I, re I renamed everyone. We're oh, good. We renamed everyone. Should, should be good. good. Should be good. It didn't show anything, and the chat says that's all players. That's screenshot of cool. cap. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo, no joke. I made that face because I was in the AIDS watching, and TJ World starts somebody. I, oh, right. face. I swear to God, that's what happened. Yeah, my teammate. Let's go. Oh no. I swear. Shit was. Uh, Sorry, guys. We're having some production issues at the moment. If, <laughs> all right, wait. I, I, don't like know. I don't know if this is a good if, question. Right, but I like this I, one. I like this one. Hold on. If go. the guests team together, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Where would they place? Wait, we're winning. That team's actually disgusting. Wait, stream. It actually, actually didn't. Really it actually team. didn't link it or leak anything. All right. So. Actually, you like that team. You guys trying to see? Cap Dan and team? Me, yeah. They said if me, the Cap Dan, and Nato teamed. Oh wait, what place. am I just coaching here? Well, you, what are what the guests? The the <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. always just, I'm always just left out, bro. It's all good. <laughs> you're our coach, yeah. Yeah, you're the host. You can coach. It lines up. Fuck you guys, bro. I'm throwing you guys next, man. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, uh, you just said you're not going. Uh, oh, you gonna pry us in the analyst desk? Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah. Dude, if I'm on the analyst desk, I'll literally be sitting up there like, dude. I don't know how I'm not. How's this guy team? sitting on stage, bro? <laughs> dropped 50 on him two weeks ago. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys see any other questions, bro? Would Old Envy dominate this game? Cap? I think Old Envy would be nasty. I don't know if it dominates. Slasher, you I think up. it's very similar to my current team. Yeah, it's pretty but much the same. Thoughts thoughts on, but we hate each other, so it wouldn't have worked out. Thoughts on Doug Sensor Barn? Yeah, I fuck think you. I, pers I really personally think that Yo, we did not get a lot We did not get along in game. No. As a you guys do, you, yo, do you guys agree with that? I think Doug actually got like a lot better as a player. Oh, yeah, he's he's pretty good. Doug he's pretty good. He, he, yeah, he's been like in. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but he's been in like every eight lobby, uh, and it it shows he's he's made an insane improvement. I think, I think Doug, Doug just has better. like the will to win, bro. I gotta I gotta have so much respect. No, for him. he's he's just dedicated. Like he actually hasn't like been like grinding YouTube. I mean, he's on vacation now, but he was like not upset. Like in every eight. He was putting up cash just so he plays. You know, everyone hears Doug. Anyone for a hundred? And they're instantly, yeah, I'll be catching again too. Like, he was just doing what he needed to do, and it paid off. All right. Uh, question for me. Uh, someone asked, uh, as a free agent, if you could go to a team right now, real skin full spot, where would you go? Um, I'd want to join Envy, hundred percent. I think they should look into that because I think be nasty. Uh oh. Moving on though. Self plug. Self plug. Um, had to. Had to. <laughs> Uh, top five EU players. At what? That's hard. Uh, I don't know if I want to think that hard. I mean, you think nah, Spike Red Reserve wait, and Scrap? You throw in that five. Mad Cat, Jerd, Tommy. Uh, I haven't played very well. Yeah, no, Tommy. No, Tommy has been playing really well for them every event. Uh, you gotta, you yeah. gotta throw Tommy in the top five. You you're throwing Jerd. You're throwing Jerd finished... number two. No, 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 oh, no order, isn't... no order. Bro, Scraps is, Scraps is in there. Scraps is in there. Yeah, wait, ah, Scraps is like right there. I don't know if he's in the. I think, wait, yeah, I think Scraps would be like six. Bro, he's in there, dog. 100%. I think he, bro, I, I think Scraps know. is the first guy that should be looked at if Spice or Red make a change. 100%. Oh, wait, yo, yeah. Zinni's Zinni, right. Shox is fucking disgusting. He's, Try that he's Australian. He's Australian. <laughs> Nato. Uh, we need to count him. He's, he's the best player from that. Wait, hold on. Sure. Everybody in the chat, moment of silence, bro. Look, he's, he's, saying, he's saying we need to count him. Yeah, he said we need to count him, but that th doesn't answer the question. Oh, yeah, I, th I think it's just like... You just got to throw him in there, bro. Bro, listen, bro. Joe, Joe's the best player in Europe. Next. Dude, Joe, Joe? Joe Dude, was nasty. Is, the past few years, I've said Bance, but until nah, nah, Birmingham, nah, until year. Birmingham, he didn't look that good this year. Like... Rated, in Birmingham, zero, I don't know what it is. Scrap, Madcat, Jerd, Tommy. Like, those six or something like that, probably. I think it's six. Vance has the potential to easily be in there, but no, he's easily. just got to keep think, playing. I think, I think Bant has the highest ceiling. What about, what like, about? Probably. Taking over a map. Would you guys, would you guys put Rated over Tommy? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think Tommy's more versatile. 
I agree. Wait, I'd probably I'd put, put Red over Tommy, Tommy. Right now, over Tommy right now. I'd definitely put Red over at the moment. I think Red has done better, haven't they? Yeah, but yeah, Spice beat Red at uh at Birmingham. They did, but no, I'm just saying that because I just thought Red when I said that. I mean, yeah. the two events where we've seen Spice do well, I don't like taking stuff away from teams, but they've been like a little we said like, iffy events. First events, the first event and the Iyama event. So that's tough yeah, though. I mean, yeah, it's, it's oh, out no, of those bro. like pick five out of those six. Yeah, that's tough, it. bro. Europe's got talent, bro. I think Red just has a little more chemistry than Spice does. Red just so, plays it, yeah. They're just better, just a better, like smarter team at the moment. Um. I think it's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for coming on, bro. Appreciate it. Yep, yep, that was fun. Yeah, so we we'll be doing this again, soon, bro. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Right after, like, let's do it Saturday. Yeah, hundred percent. Or Friday night. Or like Friday yeah, night. We should do this with more alcohol next time. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Fuck. That's when people to start slipping up. That's, That's when people start slipping up. I mean, I mean, it'll make things spicy. I think the stream yeah, would like down. that. Yeah, I think the stream would really like down. that. Uh, train wreck. What's good, my brother? We had cameras, but I took them off because I had a production thing that went wrong. And I'd be down for a a Bruce gear. The majority of it had cams. A Bruce gear too. I swap back to China for four or five shots. Yeah. Oh, any last words, real quick? No, no, that's what it is, bro. Name, uh, no, this is what you do Ant. next time. The five finger to death, some ridiculous questions. If you don't answer, shot. Bang. Ooh, wow. Dang, I like that. Um, nah, I mean, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, for it's sure. Fun. I mean, yeah, viewers did well. It. You guys right, enjoyed it. Oh, if so what, tweet us any, like, uh, oh, questions. suggestions. Or, no, yeah, like, I will fix my mic before the next one. Tweet, no. tweet, us, tweet us all, like, suggestions on what we can do better, for sure. Or topics to dis discuss yeah. next time, or, like, something like that. I mean, topics will naturally pop up throughout the week, but if yeah, there's anything will, specifically but... you guys want us to talk about, and there's like a lot of people tweeting us it, we'll talk about it. Yeah. So, um, all right, I'll be back. Yeah. All right, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I did not expect 3,000 people to be in the stream. This is crazy. Um, just something I wanted to do, like, because we do this so often, just like talking about stuff in the mumble or just chilling. So it's something I wanted to do, wanted to do and uh, maybe bring a little life back to Call of Duty, add some... Uh, you know some some drama some information that you guys want from us that you can't always get and just some entertainment you know like we don't have as much entertainment going on anymore so i uh, thank you guys for tuning in i will be live tomorrow playing aids and stuff like that every day and uh, another podcast will be on the way this will go on youtube tomorrow um and make sure you guys give all of them a follow and tweet us those suggestions like i said so appreciate the love tonight make sure you guys follow the stream and uh it'll update you every time i'm live so until next time, guys, peace. I kind of feel dumb for turning my stream off for 3K viewers, but I'll be back tomorrow, guys. I got to get off right now. I got some stuff to do. Take it easy, guys. Sorry, sorry I got to go. I will be back.